all of this I can get rid of. I don't need that anymore. I haven't used these for a long time. No telling where it goes. Hey besties! I'm done with school! I'm so excited. Last week I did a prepping for summers video and that was so, so fun. Um, although it wasn't very successful, but you can check that out. So this week I am doing another one because there is a lot to do. I think the best thing you can do for a new season is to prep really well for it. That way you kind of live it to the fullest. So if you like ASMR organizing montages and totally decluttering your life, then stay tuned. Something I haven't done in a really long time though is prep my wardrobe for a season. I've kind of been using the same clothes since like fall. I did get a few items, including this jumpsuit in a previous video a few weeks ago, but I thought that it was time to just kind of expand even more. So I'm gonna show you guys all of the cute, adorable, colorful, fun, athletic items that I got from Halara. They sent me a few things. I've known about them for a while though through Instagram, so I'm really excited that they wanted to work with me. I'll also have a 15% off discount in the description of this video. So make sure to go check that out if you want to get 15% off a purchase so that you guys can also prep and feel super cute and sexy for the summer. So I tried to keep them all in the packaging. I took one out of its packaging because I literally couldn't wait. I don't know if y'all have noticed about my platforms, various platforms like TikTok and Instagram, but I've been wearing a lot of blue lately. So the first thing that I got was this adorable little tennis dress. I'm gonna link every product down below so that you guys don't have to like go and search for this on their site if you're gonna go shopping after this. So don't worry about that. It is amazing. It is like the softest, most stretchy, amazing workout material I've ever felt in my life. The back is completely open, but the dress has padding, so you can just go braless. I think that is probably the best thing a clothing piece could do for you, is offer a no bra system. It's really cute, it's kind of short and fun. I literally died when I tried it on because I was like, I think I'm in love with myself right now. I think that would look cute with literally like sandals at the beach, but also like tennis shoes at the grocery store or on a walk. Um, it's just really casual, really fun. And all of this is athletic clothes. Y'all, I only go to the gym a few times a week. I'm not like a gym rat. This is literally for fashion and not for athletic stuff because if you know me, you know I'm not athletic at all. And I've definitely never played tennis in my life. I was so obsessed with the blue dress when I saw it that I got another dress in red. This is kind of more of like a peachy color actually, maybe not red, it's like orangey. It also has padding. This one doesn't have the open back. This one just has a regular back, but it's spaghetti straps, it's got the padding, it's really nice texture. It's super thick, this one. And this one also has shorts, whereas the blue dress doesn't. So this one is definitely for more mobile days where I'm gonna be running around and stuff. Okay, next. Ah! I got a little tennis skirt. Look how cute. This is the cutest little skirt I've seen in my life. It's white, again, stretchy, soft, incredible material. It just feels very, like, real. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, I, it's a little risky doing it white because like I will spill things on this, but I thought it'd be perfect because I have so many tank tops. I mean, I have like black, brown, green, blue, white, pink. I have all these colors and all of those will go with just a white skirt. I just thought that would be the best option. But then I got another tennis skirt in pink to kind of switch things up and be more colorful. This skirt is unique though because it has a really fun waistband. It has like a little cross. It doesn't look super different, but that little cross right there is kind of unique. And I love the color. It's a little peachy, like salmon coral color. Um, it's really short. This one looks a little more girly. I mean, obviously because it's pink, but also like this one just has like different layers to it. It's not just like a plain skirt. I just feel like these are summer statements, you know? Okay, then I got a few pairs of shorts. I got these adorable shorts right here. They're plain black, again, like the white skirt. This will just go with everything, perfect for the gym, all that good stuff. They're really, really comfortable. They have a little elastic here. They just look like a solid pair of shorts. Perfect for like getting out of the pool, going to the beach, anything like that. Then I got another pair of shorts. And I got these ones in white. These ones are really cool. They're super high-waisted. They just look like they'll be really well-fitting. Like, these are just the kind of shorts that I feel like anyone could wear and like look snatched in.
clothing and providing you guys with a discount code that'll be linked below like I said okay but now there's a lot of other things I need to do to prep for summer can I just brag for a second this desk drawer stayed this organized pretty much all year like, okay, it looks a little messy, but at least everything stayed in its little containers and it's not all over the place. This drawer, however, not so much. I have a journal that I made. I have not used this yet. This, I don't know what I use this for. A lot of, at the beginning of the school year, I started a lot of journals with specific purposes and then it like didn't work out. I have a ton of money, that's so random. Um, oh, a planner, have not used that yet. I'm really good at using all my things. I use this. So I'm gonna put this here. Now, there are like coffee stains all over. So I need to fix that. And then this is my password book. This is very important for when I'm in the middle of editing. I could open up, search a website, go to it and figure out my password. It's quite literally life-saving. Oh, this is amazing. I'm using my Young Living Household Cleaner. This stuff is incredible and it smells so good. It's multi-purpose too, so I can use it for anything. You know what? I changed my mind about everything that I put in here. I'm gonna take it all out. I feel like journals need to go on my bookshelf or somewhere else. And then this is not super necessary. However, I use my tech stuff a lot. Does that close? Yes. Does that close? Ah, shoot. This is too low. Okay, so I actually use this backpack all the time. It's also my school backpack, but I will like empty it and then bring like my laptop to a coffee shop and I will go work or I'll use it at my sister's house when we're doing work together, stuff like that. I'm really excited to have this officially cleaned out and being able to use this for just like regular purposes. Y'all, this is a Walmart backpack. It was like 20 bucks and it is incredible. It has so many pockets, it never breaks. Just everything about it is awesome. Okay, pencil case. This is going in my desk drawer because I bring this everywhere. It's stacked with everything I could possibly need. Pencils, colored pens, regular pens, and highlighters. It's also adorable. I'll link it below. I got this on Amazon during back to school time and I actually got my sister to buy it because she loved it and it's just a good pencil case. It also has like an expanding feature. So if you have like a lot of stuff, it expands. Okay, all of this I can get rid of. All of this can go in the trash. All this paper, all of these notes. Aw, it's so sentimental, but I don't care. Um, I'll probably throw this in the trash too because it's really rickety. This is the folder that I would bring like my done homework, everything that I had done that week into class. And it's like really old now. And I just don't think my, it, my family will use it at all. Okay, then I have my books, which I won't throw away, but I also don't know what to do with them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I have all of this. Okay, the reason why it's so extreme, why there's so much stuff, is because you're, I'm supposed to have a folder with like tabs and stuff. I made tabs at the beginning of the year, but it was so much upkeep that I just started like putting stuff in my backpack. It was bad. I shouldn't have done that, but I did. Oh, my little hair scrunchy. So cute. Um, this can go in the trash. Those are my notes for my test that I just took. Um, this is grades. Let me just flex on y'all real quick. 100. What can I say? Okay. Then I can throw, Oh, look, I gotta make a little brochure for geography. I talked about Ireland because I'm actually, my mom's from Ireland and I've visited a whole lot, so I didn't even have to really research very much because I knew a lot. And it was really cute, I'm really proud of it. Now all I have left are three books. I will give these to my parents because I'm sure they'll use them for something. My parents love books and we have like a no, you can't throw away books or sell books policy in our house. Not that I would throw them away, but like, they're just, my family's very crazy about books. They love them. Yay, now I just have like a cute backpack that I can use. Ah. Okay, where do we want to put my pencil case? It fits really perfectly here. Maybe I'll switch these two, the headphones and the pencil case. I think that's fine. Backpack. Oh my gosh, not the Christmas tree. Mm, I have so many bags. I don't even know where to put this. I'll put it here. Yay. And then all my hair things go in here headbands here scrunchies here this is a monstrosity i can't believe i still have this up 
I have to defend myself though for a second. I am not a very observant person in terms of like details. Also that Christmas tree was up high on the bookshelf. When are you like looking up at the bookshelf? I'm not just gonna like see it, you know? The older I get, the more that I realize it is hard to decide to do room makeover. When I was younger, I used to be able to just do them. I did four a year, sometimes even more if I felt like it. And I just had a lot more time to focus on things like that, like things I was just passionate about. And like, I just wanted to redo my room all the time. But lately I've realized that in my free time, I more just kind of want to like chill or spend time with people rather than like do a whole makeover. So it, I literally haven't done my room. I didn't do it for spring. I'm doing it for summer, which I'm so glad about because I feel more myself when I do my room. But it's not always easy now to just like do a room. So since I wasn't doing spring, I kind of didn't think about my room very much. And so anything Christmassy is just kind of still in here, even though there's nothing like explicitly Christmas, except that little Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, on my floor. I didn't even realize most of this stuff in this basket here I wasn't using. I don't need that anymore. I haven't used these for a long time. This is a little checklist that I should be using. I don't know why I'm not. This is like what I use anytime I have a list. I used it originally for just meal prepping, but it kind of turned into just like anytime I needed to make a list about something, this is what I would use. So definitely need to keep this since it's under all those things that I wasn't using it. That just shows how when things are unorganized, how you just will not use them. And more journals. These are completely filled out, so I can just put these in storage. I love coffee, but man, it is so messy. Like all these stains, any stain that you see is coffee. 